surprisingly. I didn't think of pies at first. Had a wonderful conversation with William de Kooning. What he actually said to me was, well, you you look like a pretty good painter, like you could do something, but uh, why are you just copying people like me and Franz Klein and so on? He said, what you're doing is the mistake a lot of young painters make. You're trying to make what you think is art, like the signs of art, whether it's the drip or the silver paint or the grandiose signature or those are all the elements which are not important in art. What you want to find is something that you know something about, that you like or that you've fallen in love with or something that really means something to you that you've experienced. And those were very cautionary words to me. That I had tried everything. I had tried drips and smashes and trying to figure out, you know, what, what to do. Then I came back to my teaching. I took it, that was a year off in New York. I took a canvas and thought, now what am I going to paint? Well, it doesn't really matter at the moment. What I want to do is get back to very basic things. So I made some ovals and tried to think, now let's see, those, I worked in restaurants and I've seen rows of food getting ready to be served. Often they were very uh, typical American objects lemon meringue pies, pumpkin pies, and so on. So I said, well, nobody's painted those, so I'm, I'm gonna see what that looks like as an abstract shape. And I remember I put triangles on those ovals, started figuring out, well, let's see if this, I'll may, maybe make this, this. It was almost a, kind of a dream in a way. I said, what am I gonna do with these things? And suddenly there were these pies. And uh, I said, well, there's a losing proposition. <laughs> People can't take you seriously painting this stuff. But in a funny way, I, I had somehow connected to something that felt interesting and comfortable to me. Found I couldn't leave it alone. It was just too interesting to me. All of the things that I was painting uh, came from memory, cakes and pies and gumball machines and those things. Even when I was doing all those, as he called them, the signs of art, they were still things, like a, a very abstract row of cigar boxes. So I had been fooling around with those objects and so on, but I suppose that's another thing that fed into that regrouping and rethinking about where I was going.